Hey everybody, my name is Paul Esden Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash boy green 25 make sure you like the video and hit subscribe down below that's your free way to contribute to the program and you know we're fully in the off season when we're talking about weight and position changes and things of that nature and uh, we're getting this uh, party started so without further ado let's dive right in new york jets offensive tackle makai beckton always a polarizing topic the former number 11 overall pick in the first round of the 2020 nfl draft that first year he shows all this promise and hype and everything well over the last two years he's only played 48 snaps that uh you know his second season he played in that carolina panther season opener and then you know halfway through he goes down he's out for the year this past year preseason injury out for the year and uh, now makai beckton is heading into a critically important fourth season we'll give you all the details here shout out to rich Samini of espn.com for sharing some of these notes and quotes um from his column here on Sunday morning, January 15th, as we're recording this, whether you guys are watching this now or later at a different point, if you'd like, all the details are below. If you'd want to jump right to those again in the description down below on YouTube, an article talking about this weight loss from Akai, which we're about to get into his contract status. We'll get into that here on the show and how big of a piece he critically is to the jets off season puzzle heading into 2023. Well, Let's go through it all here. Obviously, as we just mentioned, Mekhi Beckton's only played at 48 snaps the last two years. Year number two, again, lost for the year after playing in that Carolina Panthers season opener. Lost all of last year after another injury. Now, technically, Mekhi Beckton has another year in his contract through the 2023 season. So he's under contract for next season. Now, the Jets have to make a decision on his fifth-year option in early May after the 2023 NFL draft. They have to decide whether they're going to exercise that option or decline that option. If they exercise the option, that means Mekhi Beckton will be under contract for 2023 and 2024. However, if they choose to decline it, uh, Mekhi Beckton will become a free agent after the 2023 season. According to multiple sources and Ritzamini in his column, it is, quote, uh, let me uh, make sure I get the uh, right verbiage here, um, that it is, uh, there's, quote, virtually no chance his fifth-year option is exercised. I've heard the same from sources in just as, uh, you know, uh, severe of terms that it's not going to happen, which means he is heading uh, into his contract here. A couple of things here. First off, Makai Becton, who, again, injured players don't talk to the media. So Makai Becton kind of emerged from the shadows to meet with the media on, you know, closing day. That's when the season's over and all the players are doing their exit interviews. Makai Becton emerged from the shadows. Uh, Jets uh, media people have not run into Mekhi Becton this entire time uh, during his time away. Well, now Mekhi Becton, according to Rich Mini, is weighing 370 pounds. He's lost 15 pounds over the last two weeks. That's not enough for the big man. Rich Mini says he plans to lose another 15 or 20. That would put him in the 355-350 range if that's his ultimate goal for the season. I think uh, important context here is when he was preparing for the 2020 NFL draft and went to the NFL combine, he stepped on the scales at 363. So this weight that we're talking about right now would be even lighter than that by anywhere between 8 and 13 pounds difference. So uh, it's ama- I just have to say on a side note, it's amazing to hear Mekhi Beckton's doing well it's amazing to hear uh that he's uh, losing a bunch of weight here and a couple of other factors here first off uh, makai becton has uh, he has a little baby at home uh, that baby has now moved from the texas area where they were all hanging out and doing things to new jersey so now he's here full time there won't be the stuff that there was uh, when the child was first born we heard about that last year and skipping voluntary stuff and people were raising all kinds of a, a crap show about that well he's going to be here full time he has switched agents he is now a new york based agent that rich media ha- says has a great reputation so you have right people around him from an agent perspective He's got his family around him, which is most important. He's got his weight down, and he appears incredibly motivated. Now, I know some Jet fans, when they watch this video and even see the headline of this video, they're going to immediately dive into the comments and say, I don't give a flying hoot. I've heard this sort of thing before, of ultra-motivated this and that. Sometimes, and I've used this example in the past, some people believe that Santa comes during Christmas, and some people need to see his fat ass come down the chimney before they start saying, ho, 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 and... 
in this example. Some people will have to wait to see Mekhi Becton in the regular season once again dominating before they buy into the hype. And if that's the case, so be it. I can't make any of you think anything you want. To me, I'm incredibly excited for this individual. So why is it so important? Because last year the Jets figured it out with Mackay, without Mackay Beckton. But here's the facts of the matter. George Fan is a pending free agent. It does not look great that he's coming back. Max Mitchell, Max Mitchell's rookie season ended due to blood clot. So that was an incredibly serious situation. He should make a full recovery, but God only knows. I'm not a doctor. We just sometimes play one here on the show. Dwayne Brown could retire straight up. He's going to have surgery this offseason. And Robert Sala said surgeries. And at 37 years of age, I don't know, multiple surgeries during an offseason if he'll be able to come back. So long story short, the Jets are lacking answers at the offensive tackle position. So Mekhi Becton uh, is going to be there. And here's the other note from Ritzamini. Mekhi Becton is going from back, from right tackle back to left tackle, his natural position. So let's kind of bring us all full circle here to get us uh, fully here before we send you out of here. First off, Makai Becker was drafted as a left tackle with the number 11 all overall pick. A lot of people ask me, still to this day, Paul, why didn't they take Tristan Wirfs? Okay, why didn't they take that guy? Here's why. Tristan Wirfs was evaluated as a right tackle exclusive player. The Jets and first round pick value and value difference between left tackle, right tackle. They wanted a left tackle. They also evaluated Tristan Wirfs as an exclusive right tackle guy. So they wanted a left tackle. So because they have the choice, they went with Makai over Tristan Wirfs. I know Tristan Wirfs has been an all pro. He's a super talented player. And a lot of Jet fans are still angry about that. Here Again, the reason is, is because he can only play right tackle or that's how they saw him anyway. And he has played right tackle at the NFL level. Just to throw that out there. Anywho, he's drafted as a left tackle. He comes in just promising that first year. He's out for the next two years. But heading into this past season, the Jets moved him from left tackle to right tackle to keep George Fan at left tackle and move Makai Becton. And uh, they thought, again, he played a little right tackle at Louisville. Well, now with George Fant, likely also with this message, I think it's likely saying that George Fant ain't coming back here. I think that's a subtle sign you could also read into it. But now Mekhi Becton's going back to left tackle. But here is how I will evaluate, and here's how I believe the Jets will evaluate. I think Mekhi Becton is an incredible big piece of the puzzle. It's a big year for him for everything I just said. All those players are leaving. If Mekhi Becton is a Jets left tackle, that's great news. That means he's healthy and, he, and all kinds of wonderful things. However, He's only played 48 snaps over the last two years. The Jets are going to employ a strategy that I employ in my life. Hope for the best, expect the worst. You hope for the best. You would love Mekhi Becton in an idealistic, perfect world to be your starting left tackle. Will he actually be? Hard to, hard to envision that without seeing it, to my point with some fans earlier. So they will expect the worst. The Jets are going to expect that Mackay Becton is not even available. And that's not a slight on Mackay or anything. The Jets owe it to themselves to prepare for the worst possible case scenario. Again, that's Joe Douglas's job. So what the Jets are going to do is be ultra aggressive on the offensive line, whether that's free agency, trade, the 2023 NFL draft, a popular pick in first rounds. And we just had that with our mock draft Monday with Trevor Sikama. Uh, mocking Parrish Johnson Jr. of Ohio State, a first-round offensive tackle to the Jets. So the Jets are going to be super aggressive, grab as many offensive linemen as they can in all of the different avenues. And when we get to training camp, when we get to the season, they're going to be like, whoa, Makai's healthy. Great. Cherry on top of that pie. And if he's not, the Jets are not going to be screwed because they're going to have other options on the team. Again, for Makai, it, the ball is in his court. What he wants to do with his career is now up to him. Hopefully he can stay healthy. I know not always that's something that is within players' control, but if he can stay healthy, he's got a very promising future. The Jets have the franchise tag in the back pocket if he has a great year. He could get a long-term deal, the tag and trade, all kinds of wonderful opportunities open up for Mackay personally if he could stay healthy and make it happen. All of these signs are great. Mackay Becton, you know, healthy with his measurables could be a tremendous thing for the New York Jets. So to recap a couple of things real quick, he's down to 370 pounds. His goal is to get to 355, 350. Uh, number two, okay, contract status. The Jets will decline his fifth-year option. Again, according to a source, it would be, quote, surprising if they exercise the fifth-year option. So they're expected to dec decline that in early May. So the wait 
that and the position change is going from right tackle back to left tackle ahead of the 2023 season. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Feel free to share your thoughts on Makai Becton down in the comments below. And again, make sure you do your free contribution to the show by liking the video and hitting subscribe down below for more great New York Jets content. Also, feel free to check out the article where we dive into some more details about the Makai Becton situation. All right, thanks, everybody, for tuning in and enjoy your weekend. It's the offseason, baby.